about their championship oval track snowmobile team. Of course, they compete twice a year at Beaujager at the CPTC complex and of course race all over the place. They also have a great drag team as well. So Dustin Wall up here from Greenbush, nice to see him. Hey, we've got some free stuff. Who wants some free stuff out there? Courtesy of Piston Ring, celebrating 60 years. All right, we're getting ready now for street stock action. Heat number one, ladies and gentlemen, get ready to go here on the pole. And the starting spot is the number 86 of Rob Weens. On his outside, the rookie, Kyle Pellers, the number 23 car. In row number two, the 2T of Pete Dominic. On his outside, the number 53B of Bill Maruka. In row number three, the 2L of Art Lennert. And on his outside, the number 81 of Jordan Dure. Row number four has the number 80 car of Jesse Peterson. And on his outside, the number 88 of Cody Wall. And uh, something neat here at the track, we have a rental program driving the 34 row right, uh, 34 for rent uh, is the fifth row is Peter Hildebrand. That is your lineup for this race as we get ready for heat number one of the street stock division. Rob Como's looking them over. And here we go racing. Rob Ween still has the lead, but oh, he gives it up to the 2T of Pete Dominic. And we've got a race up front right away. Dominic still has the lead as they come across for the first lap. We're almost four wide here in the front stretch. This is going to be a dandy of a race. Two of them tied up the front. It's the 2T and the number 80 of Jesse Peterson. This is going to be a good one. Peterson takes the lead. We've got six laps to go. And on the inside, we've got the 81 of Jordan Dure, who's now taking the second spot over from Pete Dominic. What a great race up front. The 81 still giving a good chase here up into the front, hoping that the inside track will pay off. And Pete Dominic slowly moving up, trying to find his way back up into the front. But it's the number 80 car that has got the lead in this one. Uh-oh, on the back stretch, having a little problems. It's the number 88 car of Cody Wall. And Jesse Peterson is slowly losing his lead to the 81 car in the front. Jordan Dure. Looks like we're gonna have a great race here in this street stock division. The number 53 car in the back is having a little problems. That's Bill Maruka. He manages to right the ship and get this one going again. Dure still in the lead. Right behind him, Peterson, followed by Pete Dominic. And the rental race car is in the way a bit. They're moving around him as fast as they can. And Dure still has the lead in this one. Two laps to go in heat number one of this street stock feature. Peterson making a move on the back row. He's got the lead. Look at these slingshots right by Dure. Como's giving him one lap to go. Peterson, but a car's length in front, in front of that lap. See if he can hold on for one more. We've got a yellow flag on the track. Peterson very close to winning in this heat. All 
right, well, yellow flag is out. We will go back to the last completed lap of racing, Ken. I was just working on some audio stuff, so I didn't see quite what happened there. We'll try to talk to our official here to see what the call is. Just getting the cars back in order in heat number one here of your street stock feature. Jesse Peterson so close to winning that heat. But we will get a restart and see if we can still have a close race. That was a neck and neck one, this last one. The number 81 car. New face here at the track, Jordan Dure. Well, you know, Ken, the number 80, Jesse Peterson, picked up his first feature win of 2013 just recently here at Red River Co-op Speedway. So he has been quick, but no doubt about it, the 81 of Jordan Dure has been a charging driver throughout street stock, heat number one. Well, we're going to go for another pace lap around here as we're getting things sorted out. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget, if you are hungry tonight, don't forget to stop off at our concession area where there's tons of great food, snacks, and drinks. And if you're thirsty of a different kind, there's always that other shack to get something else to drink. Feel free to go back there and do that. Me and you, you mean, or, or <laughs> everybody else? Are we allowed to? <laughs> <laughs> we got to talk to the management here, see if we can work something out. Yeah, I don't think that's uh, going to work. I don't think it's going to work either. But, you know, we could try. Yeah, why not? <laughs> All right, we're just about ready to go. Rock Como is looking them over. And we've got a green flag. The 81 has the lead in this one. Jordan Dure. Right behind him, Art Leonard and Jesse Peterson. As we get ready to turn around, turn number three and four. Dure still has the lead. It is the last lap coming up. Jesse Peterson trying to make a push on the back stretch to go high, but it's not working out for him. Dure is getting a little bit more of a lead now. Coming around turn four, you guys, they're your leader and the winner of heat number one, the number 81 car of Jordan Dure. In second spot, the number 80 car of Jesse Peterson, followed by the 2L of Art Lennert. Rounding out to top four is the other number two car of Pete Dominic. Well, Jordan Dury hailing from Halma, Minnesota. Heading over to the Pizza Pizza Scale, sponsored by John's Bar and Grill and Todd's Electric. Well, minimum weight on a street stock, 3,200 pounds, or in metric, 1,451 kilograms. Have we ever said kilograms yet? No, I don't think we you guys have. Should be. No. I know most people are working in kilograms. <laughs> Not guys you're in my age. Uh, well, you know, I'm, I'm, on the, I'm on the cusp. I've got to do both, but... Uh, I still drive in miles per hour. I mean, I always, really, eh? always, yeah. But everything else is pretty much metric. But yeah, these street stocks, however, are Wazota sanctioned. They reach speeds of about 85 miles an hour on the straightaways. And hey, we've got some free stuff from Piston Ring. How about that? Melissa Tennant and the gang from Piston Ring joining us tonight. We want to thank them for their sponsorship. Get this, a locally owned and operated company celebrating 60 years in business. Now, this place is celebrating its 40th year. Piston Ring has been around 20 years longer, so that is something else. All right, here we go. Street Stock Heat number two rolling onto the speedway now, and here's how they line up in the Grand Prix number 70. He's a rookie. He's out of West St. Paul, and the 70 is Jesse Tunis. Outside row number one, driving car number 31 is Rob Campbell. Inside row two, 
the 2012 Street Stock Points Champion, sponsored by Goche, Grand Prix Amusements, and Duels. This is Sean Tunis out of West St. Paul. He is the brother of the guy in front of him on the pole. Outside row number two, a guy that's been having a great season in the Sun Valley RV number 55. This is Andy Martins. Inside row three, the Elbar Erector 08 is Barry Hickst. Outside row three in the 11 JR, he is your current points leader here in the street stock division. This is Shane Holden. Inside row four, Mark Tunis in the 51 out of West St. Paul, the father of the two guys inside of row one and two, and the two rent is Derek Pollock. That is your lineup for Street Stock Heat 2. Here we go. Good clean start so far. The 70 of Jesse Tunis pulling away from the field. But here comes the Elbar Erector 08. As Sean Tunis in the middle of a sandwich on the back straightaway. But miraculously, everyone comes out of that unscathed. While Barry Hicks in the 08 is currently third in overall points, he is back 22 from leader Shane Holden. Shane Holden looking a little off the pace here tonight as he is battling with the 51 of Tunis. While the brothers, Tunis, battling for third and fourth, it is Jesse in third, Sean in fourth, but Sean now sees the open spot and pulls up beside his brother Jesse as they race into turn number three. Great street stock racing for third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Now the Shadow Auto and Fleet Repair 11 is coming up in a great big hurry. Sean Tunis in the 39, currently fifth on the racetrack and fifth in points this year. Four laps down, four to go here in street stock heat number two. Andy Martins is your leader. Andy currently second in points, 20 points back of leader Shane Holden. Shane Holden now third in the Shooters Billiard Lounge. Number 11, JR. Troubles for Mark Tunis in the 51 as he spins the 51 up the top of turn two, but gets going once again. We are still under green flag conditions. Keep your eyes on second and third spot. The 08 of Barry Hicks and the 11 JR of Holden are battling. And Shane Holden looking inside and now outside. Trying to spook the driver of the 08. Nice move. Shane Holden on the inside. Barry Hicks battling back now. Andy Martins continues to lead in the middle of the back straightaway. Shane Holden and Barry Hicks continue to battle for second and third. This time around, checkered flag will wave. Your winner is going to be Andy Martin, second. The shooters, Video Max 11 JR, Shane Holden in third, the 08 of Barry Hicks. While Hicks started fifth, ended up third. Shane Holden started sixth, ended up second. And Andy Martin started fourth and was your unofficial winner. So. Obviously, Ken, a lot of passing in that street stock heat number two, a pretty darn good race. And you see that week after week here at the Red River Co-op Speedway, especially the 11JR. Uh, I've seen him start as far back as 13th and finish up in first or second place. So he's got a lot of power in that car, and he knows how to use it at the right time. So wait for the feature, because I think you're going to see a great race with a lot of passing in this one. Well, you know, Shane Holden is a third-generation driver. Now, we, of course, had our 40th anniversary birthday.